this is the dangerous new uh, segment we have. It's rapid fire questions. So, okay. um, if your company folded tomorrow, what would you do? I'd go to culinary school. So you really love food. I do, yeah. Um, what's your favorite kind of food? Um, banh mi from the streets of Hanoi. I like um, ice cream. I like the salted caramel froyo in uh, San Francisco by right. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, what advice would you have for somebody uh, starting their own company? Uh, research, read TechCrunch, read Mashable, uh, read your blog, read Fred Wilson's blog, and um, get out there and meet people through Meetup. Okay. Um, uh, what books are you reading right now? I am in a book club. Oh, really? Yes. Um, this month we finished, or well, we attempted to finish To the End of the Land by David Grossman, but it's epic and hard. Um, next month I think we're reading a super sad love story. Mm, okay, good. Yeah. Is it like a book club where you actually, all the book clubs I've seen, they actually, uh, they don't end up talking about the book. They just like, the book <laughs> is like a springboard to just like talk about feelings and life. And yeah, <laughs> it, it's half that. Um, it's also, uh, there are a lot of um, entrepreneurs and a couple of VCs in my book club. Okay. And for us, it's an excuse not to be online. That's cool. Yeah. Um, you should yeah. join. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, thank, I, uh, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> um, uh, do you have a favorite charity? Uh, Goodsforgood.org. I volunteered with them in Malawi in 2007. It was started by my friend Melissa Kushner, and it takes a, it takes excess goods from first world nations and redistributes them to the neediest third world. Okay, it's pretty rad. Nice. Um, who uh, do you have a mentor? And if so, who is it? Um, a few. Uh, there have been a lot of um, female entrepreneurs and uh, women in business who have reached out and just been exceptional, um, ranging from Beth Comstock at GE to um, Alexandra, the founder at Guild, I think I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. um, Fran Hauser, who's the president of Time Style. These women have been just phenomenal at lending themselves and resources to us. Great. Um, do you think it's, uh, in, so like there's people like Peter Thiel who say that uh, you should drop out of school and yeah. um, start a company and formal education is not worth anything. What do you think? Do you think a formal education is important? I do. I mean, I'm the daughter of an academic and also my father dropped out of Columbia one credit shy of graduation. Um, you know, I didn't have the luxury of knowing I wanted to be an entrepreneur back when I was at Georgetown. I studied art history and actually my first job was here in this building. Really? Yeah, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> writing for Backstage. Yeah. Um, so I think that had I known um, that things might be easier if I started earlier, I would have considered it, but um, I got a lot out of my liberal arts education, and I don't regret it one bit. Yeah, I, I know I did philosophy, and I loved it, and like, when else are you going to do that? I exactly. Know, I, like, well, I always say it's the best seven years of my life. I took seven years. To seven college. years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Makes you feel better. I studied Baroque <laughs> art history. <yeah. laughs> no, it's like fun. I mean, it's good. I think it's just good, like, yeah. you know, I don't know, it's just good to have that time to like learn a bunch of different things and there's plenty of time later on to learn business stuff and, and to see the world I mean study abroad was huge for me mm -hmm. um, I really like this quote Matt Damon gave a year ago that said 99% of the world's problems would be solved if we all had thicker passports <laughs> sort of my mantra for life yeah, yeah that's true um, how do you uh, relax um, yoga and uh, Muay Thai is Thai boxing oh that's cool yeah so um, like can you like beat people up Hopefully soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, what's uh, what's uh, one thing people don't know about you? That, that one thing people don't know about me um, that I'm from Minnesota. Minnesota. From Minnesota yeah. mm -hmm. It's like the uh, it's like kind of the, the I always think of it as like the the uh, semi Canadian like everyone's super nice and. Well, it's Minnesota nice, it's passive aggressive nice, but it's oh, it's a pretty great place to be from. But with my last name, nobody ever guesses it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, let's see. <laughs> Rapid fire. What's your, uh, what's your favorite, uh, startup right now besides food spotting? Um, I love Venmo, Andrew Cortina's company based out of Philly. Um, I like text messaging my friends when I need to pay for something. Although, we're really good friends with the Square guys, so I should also put in a plug for Square. Mm -hmm. Um, I think what they're doing is rad. I like the idea of yeah. never needing currency ever again. It's yeah. dirty. I think they're both cool companies. I'm actually an investor in Venmo. I love uh, the Cortina. Those guys are great. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Square's great, too. Um, okay, so uh, I think uh, we're all out of time. Thanks yeah. for being here, um, and uh, see you next time on Founder Stories. Thanks, Chris.